My first job in Canada really had a really deep impact on me. And as a young worker, then I experienced sexual and racial harassment. I was too scared and too humiliated to complain to anyone. Après les Forces armées canadiennes, après un an, ils m'ont mis dehors pour homosexualité. Euh, C'était en 1982 et je ne comprenais pas que mon orientation pouvait jouer à mon travail. Suite à ça, euh, j'ai sombré dans la drogue et l'alcool. When I was hired as a coordinator, I moved into a, a location of one of the affiliates and the first reaction from the staff, the male staff there was, who did you sleep with? People should be respected for their uniqueness, for their differences. You don't have to like them, you know, you don't have to agree with them. But at least respect that they have the right to their opinions, they have the right to their religion, they have the right to dress however they want to dress as long as it's not bringing harm to you or to them. I mean, Rise Up is about building a movement, <laughs> building a stronger labor movement and talking about what still needs to be done. So therefore, if we're not taking an active stand against it, then it will permeate everything. It will slide into all of the work that we do. Not only what you do or what you stand for, but how you do it. If you're fighting for social, racial, economic justice, that in every single part of work that you do, that you have that as your principles, your guiding principles in terms of the work that you do. And if you don't carry that with you everywhere that you go, then you can't claim to be an advocate for the things that you'd like to see. So you have to live what it is that you desire. Rise up. Debout pour nos droits. Chile. Juntos se puede. Todos unidos. Rambe.